Hey, butterflies. Welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Monaco. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It's always appreciated. And a major shout out to all the channel members as well as the members over on my website. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. I have been embedding um, random giveaways and things of that nature um, into the readings. And I think that's something I'm going to keep doing just as a way to say thank you to you all, those who watch my videos, who watch it to the end, who, you know what I'm saying? Like, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So that's how I'm going to keep giving back because when I try to do the giveaway by the math problem, the person never claimed their gift. And so I was like, I'm going to do it a little differently then. And so this energy of what I am feeling, butterflies, um, is something about sticking something out, sticking something out to the end, okay? Because I'm hearing the song, we've only just begun, the romance is not over, got a lot, a lot of love to give. Some of y'all, these ancestor energy, it's like it's coming through with this old school vibe, like, I'm getting this vibe, but don't give up. Somebody been giving up too fast or be ready to give up at the first sight of difficulty. As soon as some hard happens, you jumping back and falling back and, you know, questioning yourself, questioning your worth, questioning your purpose, questioning what you're supposed to be doing. And this ancestor message is saying, no, nah, baby, you got to change that. I'm hearing that energy so heavy. You got to change that, okay? You got to change that perception up there. You can't give up at the first sight. I'm hearing you got to see something through to the end. I'm hearing there's some energy in the collective who you've missed out on some good things because you didn't see it out to the end. You, you end things early and it may be sometimes you feel like you have all that you need or something else exciting comes up and you're like, oh, let me go check this out. And so... You never finish something out. It's giving this vibe of finishing things. This ancestor energy is saying that something needs to be finished with you. Something needs to be finished with you. So we're going to get ready to pull some cards. Dang, I need to get some more. Um, drink, drink. I've been recording it in the vibe, okay? Um, let's first pull out to see what signs are the prevalent energies that we're connecting to in this space. We're going to get six energies. It could be your ancestor's energy that's speaking or it could be yours of who we're speaking to. Take it as it resonates. So we have Pisces, Pisces, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Sagittarius. So those are the strong signs that are coming out. The numbers that are coming out that you may be seeing a lot of are nines, tens, eights, sevens, elevens, twos, and twelves. So this energy of what we're getting into is complexity and healing. That's a lot of the overarching energy of what we're pulling into. And that's a lot of reason of why you may quit things early of needing to heal is giving this vibe of the resilience energy or of something in the past where you weren't allowed to finish things or things were taken from you as soon as you, you know what I'm saying? It got to a certain point. And so it's been psychologically embedded inside of you. But you have leadership coming out and leadership is complex. Leaders can't give up at the first sight of difficulty. They push, they work, they find a new way around. They find new methods. They figure out how to reach what they need to reach. Okay. And that's what separates leaders from followers. Followers need the direction of others as a way to be motivated, but a good leader knows how to create other leaders. That's the, and as soon as I said that a leaf fell, and this gives me a vibe of some of you all may have not been having a leader or you weren't raised by someone that was passed down to be a leader. You were raised up to follow what other people tell you to do or how to do this, or um, you do is what I say. You know what I'm saying? You weren't allowed to ask questions. And so 
when you come to a difficult situation, since when you were younger, if you weren't put through situations where you had to critically think or problem solve or work through this difficult energy, it becomes hard. And then you may blame yourself and then you may attribute the difficulty to your worth. But that's the furthest from the truth. The difficulty has nothing to do with your worth. The difficulties have nothing to do with your worth. Let's get into this complexity. Well, not complexity, complexity. <laughs> complexity. Because this is, the complexity is just something that's becoming more complicated. Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? Acting like it's somebody else getting me frustrated. This is frustration. You had energies around you that got really frustrated when they couldn't fix something. You got the awakening coming out. Yeah, you're breaking that curse. This was, you observed someone getting frustrated every time they couldn't get their way. Okay, you observe someone who, when they were upset, they started fighting or they started arguing or they started hitting or they didn't have good conflict management. And when we don't have conflict management, it makes it hard to problem solve through issues that come up. We have the nine of air that's coming up in the reverse. Yeah. Getting out of this repeating cycle and awakening because the nine of air can represent nightmares, right? And then we have the awakening. So awakening from a nightmare. Some of you all may have been reliving something that has happened within your lineage. And as soon as I said that, the time switched to 12-12. Uh-oh. As soon as I said that, let's go. Do I have my angel number book right here? Please. Yes, I do. Let's read this angel number book. Angel number 1212 appears when your spirit guides want you to know that you have been given divine authority and leadership over an area of your life. It is a reminder that whatever is written in the stars with your name cannot be taken from you by anyone. You are ordained for this position. Don't give up. It's something that you've been given authority over or domain over that it may not be working out in a manner of how you expected it to, or you thought it would, or you wanted it to, but you've been granted authority over this thing and you need to stick it out. You need to stick it out. You hear me? Look at me. You need to stick it out. And if you're sticking it out, I want you to comment it down below. I am sticking it out. I'm sticking it out to the end. Say it with me. I'm sticking it out to the end. I'm sticking it out till the end. Period. Period. If you're sticking it out, where do you post it down below? <laughs> I'm sticking it out. So this is giving the energy of awakening from a nightmare. You're no longer living the same cycle. It's time to wake up from the cycle of your past, of how you were raised and um, what they said to you, the things that they did, the things that they had, they tried to have authority over you and took your tried to take your power from you. They took your toy from you when they said it was done. 
they controlled what you did, how you did it, when you did it. And there's so many of you all here, and I can't just say what you've been given leadership over because I'm telling you now, a lot of you all have been given leadership over so many different things, and I want you to use your intuition. Right now, when I say you have been giving leadership over this thing, what is the first thing that come to your mind? Even if it's your life, even if you feel like you ain't had no control over your life, Even if you feel like you haven't had any control over your life. You're awakening to the nightmare, okay? And what you say go, period. It gives the vibe of some of you all may not stick to the end of things due to the response of other people and how they respond to it. And if they like it and if they don't. Now... I understand, okay, yeah, you do want the attention in certain ways if you're working in the public and things of that nature, but don't you want to attract people that's in your tribe authentically? I mean, I mean, hey, you don't have to because all business models don't do that. But this gives me a vibe of someone starting something and they don't get the reaction. So it's, it's doing things for like reaction. I don't know. But you got to look at the bigger picture with the full moon and Sagittarius. And we pulled a lot of Sagittarius energy in here. So something that happened in the springtime, early summertime, think back to then. Something that happened in the early springtime, early summertime is something that you did that you may have given up on or you stopped or you slowed down on. And you need to look at the bigger picture with it of why you were called to embrace this energy in the first place. It's a reason. Yeah, you got forgiveness that's coming out. But I feel like a lot of this forgiveness is for you, like you forgiving yourself. You forgiving yourself for the things that you didn't do, okay? Forgiving yourself for the things that you could have did differently, okay? Forgiving yourself. You have the tower card. Something ended abruptly or something brought about a change back in the springtime. Or this moment right here, you just got this realization and it literally just clicked in your head of how to go back and handle this thing or what happened. I'm hearing, why not you? Your ancestors are saying, why not you? Why not you? You have to believe that it, that it can be you. It is you. Ancestral, ancestral energy, you have stargazers. Set your sights higher. And then look at the bigger picture. Yeah, you got to look at this long term. Don't look at, when you look at things from a short term, it could be a little bit more difficult to deal with and work through. But when you start looking at it from more of a long term, things just open up differently for you. When you look at it from a long term, things open up differently. We're going to do that again. But set your sights higher and don't give up on it. When you when something is given to you to do, it's because you have the power and the energy to see it through. You just got to reconfigure it to figure out how to merge your way in there. You got spring. See your seeds grow. So it's something from this last seed, spring up until this next spring. By next spring, you starting back to doing something now. By next spring, you're going to see your fruits. You're going to see them start to sprout. You just got to get through this difficult moment of the season right now. 
and learn how to break away from, you know what I'm saying, wanting to quit things as soon as it gets difficult. I'm here as soon as the going gets hard and be able to see it through. It's time to be able to see it through. So if you're seeing it through, let me know in the comments. I am seeing it through. I am seeing it through. And if you saw it through to the end of this video, I have another coupon code for you all today as a thank you for being here in this space. The first person to use it will get $15 credit at my store, energyt.com. Um, it will cover your shipping costs as well. It should cover your shipping costs as well. And um, yeah. The code is, I think it's, let me make sure, hold on. Let me make sure I got the right code. We are evolving. We are evolving. And it's good until, it's 1221 on the time. It's good until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. And this is my thank you to you. So I appreciate you all for being here. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do, period. I love you all. Have an amazing day. Peace. May you reap the good energy that you have sown, my loves. <laughs>